This book about how to be gay and happy, um, it's hard, you know, mm. it's not, I mean, we've come a very, very long way, but it's still really tough. I mean, in your book, you talk about the fact that not everyone, but a lot of people who are going through, you know, not, not sure about how to come out, not sure about whether to, wrestling with their sexuality, if you like, and there are problems, there are terrible problems with depression. Suicide rates are, are high, higher than they should be. Um, and these are things that need to be addressed, you know, they can't, they shouldn't just be, yeah. you know, brushed aside. Absolutely, well, I think, for, you know, for a long time, you know, people, homophobia, and there's been all this kind of, you know, negativity uh, flung at us, and we've been told that, you know, being gay is a mental illness in itself, and, you know, you'll end up being suicidal if you're gay. So the gay rights movement has tried to say, actually, it's great to be gay and you could be happy and it sure. gets better and that's really important to tell young people that because the vast majority of gay people are very very happy but you know there is, there are high rates of depression and anxiety and addiction and suicide which is something I think we need to talk about and you know I'm 42 and a relatively successful high profile gay man and intellectually had absolutely dealt with all the, the shame of growing up with sure. comp feeling completely isolated I realized I was gay when I was 10 but actually I realized in the last 10 years that there was still some of that shame that would been put into me by society yeah. because I hadn't had any help when I was a kid that was causing me to act in a self-destructive way and I'm, I'm a recovering alcoholic I'm very I'm not I'm not proud of that but I'm certainly not ashamed of it and sure. I think it's really important to talk about mental health mm. and, and, and across the board you know straight people gay people we all have mental health problems mm. and most people you know have periods of you know anxiety or depression or drinking problems or compulsive shopping or sexual behavior or whatever it may be mm. so I think it's it's important to, to talk about these things and I just wanted to say as well that the, the bullying of, of LGBT kids has always been seen as a gay issue, but actually some gay people do have kids more and more, but the vast majority of gay people have straight parents, so the kids that are being bullied are, 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 the, are the kids of straight people. Yes. And so it's really important, I want straight people to write to their kids' schools, to the headmasters and headmistresses, and say, what are you doing about homophobic and transphobic bullying? Are you mm. tackling it? Are these policies being put into action? I, you know, I've interviewed so many parents whose kids have either killed themselves or you know, one a lady called Mina Houghton, whose son Mark was 27 and died of an unintentional drug overdose um, in 2010 from, from, after years of being bullied. It, it, I could tell you name after name after mm -hmm. name. And, and the media, I mean, you're amazing. I love you and you've always oh. been fantastic for, for the gay community. But the most of the media don't really seem to care about, about these kids that are being mm. bullied. It, 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 it's almost yeah. like it's not happening. They're scared no, to talk about true. it. No, that's true. And even after Orlando, some of the, the, the mainstream papers didn't have that on their front cover. Well, I found that appalling. Which I, I found, was 2016, bizarre. I found that's sad and upsetting mm. and you know it sends a message which is what my book is about it sends a message to young people that if you are gay your life is not valid or it's not as important as if mm. you as if you are straight and that's a terrible thing in, no. in this day and age to be to be saying that and I want to say to kids that your life is valid whoever you are LGBT straight sure. you know whatever color or cultural background you come from everybody is equally as important it's important we all say that it's it's shining a light on a very dark place mm. and it's shining a light that, that that needs to happen actually what sort of reaction have you had I've had a great reaction, and I think, and I hope that the book is really positive because, you know, I remember years and years and years ago, I was in the shower, about to go to work. I was the editor of Attitude. Thing, I had a play on in the West End, and in Sydney, everything should be great. I'd met all my idols, like Madonna and Elton John, and I was in the shower thinking, I am. Uh, quite a damaged person yeah. and I can't do anything about it. I've had counselling, no one could help me, and I thought there was no way forward. I thought I was the most damaged person in the world. And going into recovery has been really, really helpful. And I think it's really important that people know that, you know, whatever depression you have, if you have addictions, you feel terrible, you have low self-esteem, these things can change. You can mm. work on it. There's so many people in recovery, be it in therapy or in 12-step groups like Alcoholics Anonymous or Narcotics Anonymous. And I think these things are coming forward more and more. They people are. are talking about mental At health. At least we, we are all, we talking all about it. Which is, no, you're absolutely right. And and things are, you know, things are getting better. I mean, the book is Straight Jacket, How to Be Gay and Happy. And things are getting better. You look, for example, um, Prince William's going to be on the front, front cover yes. of Attitude. I love this. I can't wait to see. That's a mock-up. That's a mock-up. You're going to be far, far more creative than that. Yeah, that's nice, but ours is a bit nicer. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. I yeah, think it's, it's very and I think exciting. it's brilliant. And again, it's a positive message. Well, isn't it's it? really exciting that yeah. you know the future king is uh, talking about uh, homophobic and transphobic bullying, and that it has to stop. And all, all bullying has to stop. Of we have, it does. Like I said earlier on, we just have to be nicer to each other. And you know, all across society, we would all benefit from from doing that. And I think sometimes the media just divides people and sets everyone against everybody. It's always about pointing out, you know, you must hate this person, you must yeah. hate that person, but. 
we all lose when that happens. So we all need to come together. And I know I sound like a hippie, but I think it's just it's the message that everybody needs to hear it's and everybody needs to, to talk about. It's a great message. It's a positive message, and that's fantastic. Matthew, it's been a joy. The book Straight Jacket, How to Be Gay and Happy, is out right now? Yes, uh, out tomorrow. Tomorrow. Can I just say one tomorrow. last thing? Of course you can. That I love you, because <laughs> it's important, and I do love you. <laughs> I you've love been, you back. You've been so lovely to us, and I appreciate it. <laughs> I love it. you back, and I the, really the do. The whole country loves you, oh. so thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Sorry, being sick of fancy, no, but what can not. you do? You're what can you do? Cry. Shush, <laughs> thank you very much. 